Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into oil ticker stocks, and specifically NAT, and what I think about everyone talking about it, and what's going on with oil ticker stocks in general. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign up for Webull and Robinhood, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, NAT has been a stock that's been heavily talked, and it's an oil ticker stock. Now, we know oil ticker stocks in the last month have kind of skyrocketed the last two months, and that's due to the oil supply uh, surplus, and... That's because of obviously the oil price war and basically oil being extremely low in prices, right? But right now, what are we seeing? We're seeing a lot of these oil tanker stocks pulled back the last few days because of the fact that the economy is kind of reopening and we're seeing the price of oil increase as well. So since the economy will reopen, more people will use oil, more people will be just around in the economy and the demand for oil will increase causing a decrease in the in the supply of these oil barrels so these and the need for these oil stores so right now guys the time to have made a short-term trade for nat in my opinion was when i made the video on oil tinker stocks three weeks ago so that was kind of the time when we still had a lot of uncertainty in the market and we had a decent price pops right but Right now, we're seeing a huge pullback, and the thing that's concerning about uh, on YouTube is that we see them being talked about when they're extremely overextended in this area. I know uh, one big uh, YouTube channel, for instance, talked about it, I think, in this thing. It popped for the next two days, and people kind of FOMO'd in, and they bought, let's say, at seven, eight, nine dollars and on this day, and, uh, you know, they, they, for the fear of missing out, and they didn't realize that the trend was extremely overextended at this point. And plus, we have earnings on these stocks coming in soon. Now, here we had a huge reversal candle, and we fell all the way to the 20 exponential moving average. The price could pop from here. It's a one, it's up 1.9% in the pre-market. But honestly, guys, the way I see all the other oil tanker stocks just reacting to all the news of opening and stuff like that, I mean, I really think we could retest this 200 exponential moving average. Now, this is not financial advice. These are my own opinions and ideas on the market. But we could test this in the next week or a few days. So the thing is, is that we have earnings coming up. And the earnings for DHT um, were actually negative. That's another oil tanker stock that we talked about in uh, my previous uh, oil tanker video. And they were negative, even though it was kind of during this time. And th that was probably due to the fact that they were negative in the first two quarters of quarter one. Um, and they weren't doing as well as in March, but we're going to see the quarter two earnings be better. But right now for a short term trade, in my opinion, the risk to reward for all these oil tanker stocks is not there anymore. And I wouldn't look at these stocks until they hit around the 200 exponential moving average where you can kind of take a better trade in my opinion. Now, overall guys, when you're looking at stuff on YouTube in general, these, this isn't financial advice. Don't just jump into a trade without having researched what's going on in the market and the news, right? Look at what's going on and see for yourself what can happen. Because I know, like I said, this one YouTube channel, you know, said for this price pop over here on Nordic American uh, tankers and it happened. But the fact of the matter is, is a lot of people bought in, in these days. So don't just jump into a trade just because you heard on YouTube. Just try to see the risk parameters and what you're willing uh, to risk for reward, right? So... Just take that into consideration, guys. We do have earnings on this stock later on in the month on May 20th. And like I said before, let's get into DHT just to show you guys what's going on with that stock. Now, DHT has a much uh, choppier chart than NAT. And this is kind of huge swings right now that we're seeing. And overall, we're seeing that DHT also pulled back because I think they missed earnings by 25%, if I'm not mistaken. Um... So overall, DHT as well is not looking well. And right now, they have the dividend payments. What, what what some people are doing is they're buying these oil tanker stocks because they typically give out some good dividend payments, right? But that's not worth the risk right now unless you buy as a few days before the dividend date. And even then, it can fall, right? So just take that into consideration as well, guys. Be careful when investing out there. And like I said, do your research. Know what's going on in the market. Know what's going on in the news. All of these stocks are, yes... They benefited from the oil crisis and the oil surplus, but right now we're slowly moving back into a normal economy, right? So take that into consideration, guys. Please like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Let me know what stuff you'd like me to look at in the comment section down below. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.